It is okay to fail. Everybody fails at some point in life. First impressions are important and rejections are not always bad. If you are persistent enough, with perseverance you can reach anywhere in life. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about my first ever interview with Kata Airways. Now, why do I say first ever? Because I did not make it in the very first attempt. It took me three attempts to get through my interview with Kata Airways. And today I'm going to talk about all of my three attempts. And I'm gonna tell you exactly the reasons why I couldn't make it in my first two attempts. So stay tuned. It was an open day and it was from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. So since it's an open day, anyone can walk in uh, at any given time between 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And there were thousands of people who had come to attend that open day. So there were these three recruiters who were conducting uh, these interviews in one of the hotels. And when it's your turn, you just get up, walk up to one of those uh, three interviewers and you hand over your CV to one of them. They ask you a few questions like, why do you want to join Qatar Airways? and uh, any prior work experience and so on and then they tell you if you get selected you would get a call the very same day to come for the next round a day later so I arrived at this hotel my confidence was okay my grooming was okay and I just waited for my turn and finally when it was my turn I stood up to walk up to one of these three recruiters now two of us stood up at the same time one from the extreme left which was me and another one from extreme right which was another guy and uh, that is the time when this particular recruiter says and these were her exact words and i quote i have already briefed you guys that um once one queue is finished the next queue would start from extreme right and uh, then i just sat down and waited for my turn again so now this was uh, something that went against me and i will tell you why so this was the time when i was told by the rest of the people that they were briefed by her that how the interview process would uh, go and how she wants everyone to start from extreme right inside so anyone coming after her briefing would not have a clue and this was something that went against me though it was an open day and anyone can walk in anytime between 9 a.m to 12 p.m anyone coming after her briefing was done would not have a clue about it and uh, this was something that she expected me to know somehow so yeah that went against me so surprisingly um, I still got a call to come for the next round. So the next day was about a presentation about Qatar and Qatar Airways and then uh, followed by a simple written English test. But when it came to the results, surprisingly, my name was not there. And then came a very weird explanation from the same uh, interview itself and these were her exact words and I quote, the results are not entirely based upon this round and it's also based on how everyone did yesterday and we saw a few people cutting through the queues yesterday and it was not something that we appreciate i was taken aback because i thought if you had made up your mind already based on the first round then you shouldn't have even called me for the next round because to me it really didn't make any sense if this was the message they they just wanted to put across i just felt that they just wasted my time and just for information though these recruiters very much represent the same airline not everyone will act the same way but some people expect you to behave a certain way and more precisely their way and uh, you want to find such people everywhere in life so yeah that was my first experience which was not so good so now i'm gonna tell you about the uh, second attempt so this time i cleared all four rounds so first round was the CV drop and then the second day was about the presentation about Qatar Airways and a written English test and whosoever gets selected then uh, you then you go for the next round which is a group discussion round group discussion could be anything it can also be uh, just a simple group discussion on a particular topic they can give you a topic to speak 
uh, individually so it really depends on the recruiter and the overall process so now over here they really want to see how confident you are and how good you are at effectively communicating with others so your communication skills and how you come across your body language and uh, if you come across polite if you come across somebody who does not have enough patience basically this is the time where they will be observing every small detail about you and they will be profiling you based on that they will make up their mind if you are the suitable candidate to go further and this is something that you need to understand that it is a customer centric profession so if you lack patience if you come across that you're not polite all of this would show up in that group discussion and if they have any doubts about you they won't hire you in first place so after i got through my group discussion you gotta declare any birthmarks or any scars or tattoos if you have the next round was a final round which was a one-on-one -on -one, so which was conducted in a more relaxed environment so you'll be seated in one room with one interviewer or two interviewers max and it will be more like up, uh, get to know you more kind of a thing so just for your information all of these recruiters are all former flight bursars with Qatar Airways and some of them still fly as and when there is a requirement and many primarily work in other departments like training recruitment and so on so this final round is a more like get to know you a little more they chat with you in a more relaxed environment they just have a discussion with you regarding um, your prior work experience they can also ask you to write anything uh, which could be something as simple as writing a piece of information about your life this is the time when they will tell you about their expectations from you and vice versa and this is the time when they will be seated very close to you so if you have any scars and if you have any acne or something they will notice that and they can also have a mild discussion about about that and once you're done with your final round they will tell you that you would receive an email from them if you get selected so now you wait for that final call so this final yes comes from the CEO itself and he is very particular about uh, about the picture okay so he goes through each and every crew members file and the picture and he's way very particular about the picture so basically he's the one who decides if you get selected or not now he did not like my picture for some particular reason and I would also tell you why he didn't like my picture my attire was not very bright in color so I was wearing this uh, pink color shirt and my makeup was also done in the same tone like my entire face was looking very pink so my best looking features were all camouflage and the entire look uh, made me look like a bit dull so the entire look was not very vibrant and that was the reason why he didn't like my picture and this I got to know from the same interviewer who took my interview the third time so finally I made it in my third attempt and in my third attempt it was the same recruiter who took my interview the second time as well and she was the one who was very much aware of what went wrong with the picture so she briefed me this time how my picture should be done what kind of color should i be wearing how my makeup should be done how my hair should be done even my smile you know they're very particular about your smile they want they want to see you in a particular manner because uh, you wear a hat and kata Airways don't like you to make those uh, puffs and all that so they like to see your hair done with a side parting so they, they have a they have a very different standard when it comes to the picture and they like to see you a certain way so if I didn't try the third time I would have never come to know what went wrong in the second attempt so in my third attempt when the picture was approved um, it was a yes of course and then I received an email they asked me to get my medicals done once I cleared my medicals I received an email from them stating congratulations they told me that my flight would be on 3rd of March 2012 and my training will commence from 5th of March 2012 so yeah all of this can take 
uh, from one month to two months. So this was my journey and my overall experience with Kata Airways and uh, how did I manage to crack my interview and became an international flight attendant with Kata Airways despite of all the mistakes that I've made. So what can you learn from my experience? That it's okay to fail. Everybody fails at some point in life as long as you learn something from that rejection and uh, outperform yourself the second time or the third time. And it's okay if you don't get selected in your first attempt or second attempt as long as you know what went wrong so you can work on it and learn something from it. You don't repeat the same mistakes a second or third time. Sometimes things might seem unfair and you might feel that they were being ridiculous on so many occasions but it's okay you always try to outperform yourself first impressions are important till date i remember my interviewer who conducted my interview the second and third time not just because she was sweet and professional also because how she conducted herself throughout and i don't remember my first recruiter at all because it didn't leave any impression on me and i believe she would have the same thoughts about me my second recruiter also managed to recognize me six years later when i met her on board on one of my flights so first impressions go a long way rejections are not always bad they only make you to try harder and push you to become a better version of yourself. Remember this, success tastes very different after rejection. So if there is one thing that I want you to take out of this video, I would say never stop trying and never stop growing.